I'm Fred Croner, Prep Sports Coordinator for the News Gazette. Well, I graduated from the University of Illinois back in the day, but uh, probably my best training is just on-the-job experience. I've been doing this now for 32 years, and uh, during that time, covered a little bit of all the sports and uh, all throughout the area, from uh, from Danville to Bloomington to Kankakee to Mattoon and points in between, and and uh, that is really the, the best training. It's just the experience of being on the job for so long. I think what makes my reporting different than most blogs that I've seen anyway uh, are just the sources. A lot of blogs are just one person's opinion and, and maybe uh, aren't necessarily uh, you know, sourced real well. And I think any story I do, I try to have multiple sources. Uh, you know, for a feature story, I try to have uh, you know four or five people that I interview that I talk to, so I get both sides or all the different sides, uh, however many there, there might be. And I think that's the, the the key right there is just having a lot of uh, sources, a lot of context, and and uh, you know putting a, putting a story in perspective rather than just trying to maybe present one point of view. At this point, I've been doing it a long time, and uh, you know I, I get to know a lot of these people. I mean, you deal with them year after year. Some of them are, are coaches in, in two or three different sports throughout a school year, and so I think as you as you deal with people and you get to know them, you, you kind of can tell which ones are, are really giving you good information, and maybe which ones uh, are, are hoping to uh, you know have you write something that will, will benefit them. And so I think just through experience, you kind of uh, you develop those relationships and you develop those sources, and then uh, when it comes time to get some information, I, I think you know a lot of coaches are, are very willing to uh, to share with you. I think the best way is, you know, it goes back to the old adage that you hear, no cheering in the press box. You, you just try to, uh, you know, whatever you're doing, you, you look at it impartially and, and take that perspective. And I can't count the number of times I've been to a game and, and a parent or, or a fan will come up to me and say, well, I hope you see our team win tonight. And my response always is, well, I hope I see a good game. Because, um, you know, whether that team that I'm covering wins or loses, I still have to write a story. And so uh, to me, it's not as important who wins or loses, but if there's a good story there. I'd say there's probably maybe one game a month I go to where I, I don't get a, a tip or something. I, I'm always seeing somebody when I go to a game, whether it's a, it's a coach or a fan or a former player or something, they'll come up and say, hey, did you know about this? Or let me tell you about this. And so I think that's one of the, the advantages of, of having been around a particular area for so long. I mean, 32 years now is, is quite a while. Um, there's very few coaches now still coaching that, uh, that were first coaching when, when I was there. And what I'm finding now, uh, a lot of the athletes I cover, they have kids going through. This may sound kind of corny, but every story I write, I, I try to write it like I was writing about one of my own children uh, because I would want that to be the best possible story, and, and that's what I want. Uh, so if I go out to cover a game or do a feature story on somebody, I want it to be the best story that it can possibly be, recognizing that, you know, in a lot of these cases, the, the person that you featureize is not somebody that's, that's going to be in the paper 10 or 15 times a month. They might be in once during a school year, maybe once in their whole career. And so when they look back later, I want them to be able to look back with pride on, on a story that, you know, documents what they've done, what was significant, uh, and, and just like I would if it was uh, one of my own children. What I like the most is, is the absolute variety. During the fall season and the spring season, there are so many sports going on. Uh, during the fall, I might cover a volleyball game on, on a Thursday, a football game on a Friday, cross-country meet on Saturday, uh, and then during the week maybe doing stories on, on tennis or swimming or cross-country or, or soccer or whatever the case might be. And it's never the same. And, and even during the, the winter time, when the main sports around here are, are basketball and wrestling, uh, it's still uh, different schools, different coaches, boys, girls, whatever it might be. And, and no two days are the same. And I think that's what I like. Uh, each day it's going to be a new challenge. It's going to be something different, whether it's uh, where I'm traveling to or, or what I'm writing about. And uh, I absolutely love that.